Okay, this is a reading for Sagittarius. So I just want to remind you guys because I've had a couple people accidentally are paying the wrong person like when it comes to extended. So make sure that you spell my name with 1K, not 2. And when you go to like cash at me or whatever, the name will always be like Nikki Boo or Nicole. Um, there's another account that uses 2Ks, but the name always is like Heather something, okay? So that's not me. It'll always say Nicole or Nikki, so keep that in mind. And there's 1K, not 2. And then there's a dot um, in between Nicole, Renee. And Renee is with an E N A Y. Okay, enough of that. Just need to clear that up because I don't want you guys accidentally paying the wrong person and then not getting your. Um, reading. So if that did happen, there's only been a couple of you, just hit ask for a refund and then Cash App will refund you the $8. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to pull a couple from those little black cards. So we have Soulmates, Soul Connection, Partnership, Agreement, Soul Contract. Um, so you guys have like a soulmate coming in here and then it says Girl Talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So, a lot of you guys could be single right now. You're not really looking for anybody, and somebody could be about to come in. Um, you might not even be looking, like I said, and then a soulmate shows up. Wow. Engagement ring. Engaged. Partnership. Commitment. Eternity. <laughs> completion. Union. Wow, so some of you guys who are single are also like about to get an engagement ring. And you could be, what happens is you get engaged and then you're out with your friends talking about this. Or you're calling your friends and you're like, hey, guess what happened? So those are some really good cards. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that because I told myself I'm only going to pull three from this deck. And then three from these. Okay, I'm going to stick to it this time because sometimes I want to pull more. <laughs> so let's see. Cup. You should accept valid criticism. Okay, so there could be something going on where you guys need to accept some criticism. And if it's not valid, the hell with that. No. <laughs> okay, and then we have January. Because I know some people, they don't. They're not doing it with your best interest as far as, like, criticism. Some people are just, like, really pissy and bitter and, you know, want to talk shit, you know. So, if that's what the case is, the hell with them. But if it's valid and you're like, oh, that is a good idea, then go with it. You could be dealing with somebody whose birthday is in January or that could be significant to you, winter or something like that. <clears throat> Let's just say haystack. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. Okay, so some of you guys are about to reap what you sown. So hopefully it's good. <laughs> hopefully, like, this is good karma that you've sown. Um, either that or the person that you're dealing with, that could, they could be reaping what they have sown. So if there's, like, people out here who have been talking bad about you or whatever, you know, because a lot of times with that girl talk card, it reminds me of gossiping. Like a bunch of cackling hens getting together and gossiping. It could be guys too, because don't act like y'all don't do it. So, <laughs> there could be some people out cackling about you, Sagittarius. Um, and they're about to reap what they've sown. But a lot of you guys have sown some really amazing things. So, that's coming back to you. I always see that in your readings, like when the Justice card comes out. It shows me that you're getting new love, new finances. Mm. I'm seeing the moon and the devil. So I'm going to ask Spirit, please reveal anything hidden from Sagittarius or from anybody who's watching. Whoever sees this video, please reveal to us what's hidden from us. What is hidden from us? What are the messages we need, Spirit? I'm also being told that we need to ask our ancestors to intervene. So I'm going to ask all of my ancestors and the people who are watching's ancestors to come through. That's a lot of people. I know I just asked a lot of people to come through. Um, but I'm just listening to what they're telling me. 
I'm also being asked, so I have my ancestors and all the people watching's ancestors for protection upon us, for everybody who sees this video. I don't know why I'm being led to do that. I've never done that in a reading. <clears throat> okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. So there's definitely somebody who feels left out in the cold by you, or there could be somebody who's having like financial difficulties. Um, this could make sense with the you reap what you sow situation. Could be an Aquarius, which when the January card came out, uh, that was my first initial thought that there was an Aquarius involved in this situation somehow some way yeah see there's people around you here who want to cause drama in your life stress this is what kind of makes me wonder if like people are gossiping about you or something with that girl talk I just feel like there's some people here who aren't happy. Like, I also feel like you guys could be the star energy where you're, like, healing. Um, you're going after your true north. And there's just, like, people around you who feel left out. So, and So, this person also, whoever this energy is, could also be, like, um, since you left them out in the cold, now they want to come back around and fight for you. Like, especially if they know there's competition or something. So we have Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy showing up right away. You could be dealing with any one of those signs. But I feel like you're getting your prayers answered with the star card. This is also your destiny showing up. Like, you're destined for something. Yeah. So, a lot of you guys also are, like, have been through a lot. Like, you've had a battle. Like, some of you guys could have come from, like, nothing, and now you've become something. And so, it's like, you've went through a lot. You've went through a lot of drama, and now you're, like, in this star six of wands energy. So, be, like, prepared to get, like, a lot of attention and success. Like, a lot. Also... Some of you are getting new jobs where if you haven't been making that much money, you're about to get a better job making a lot more money, or you could be getting a raise at work. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. So, like, I feel like you've had to fight a lot, and you're, like, getting through that, and it's like fate, karma, good karma has stepped in. You're getting success. And look who just came out, but it came out in the reverse. So some of you guys have been like, <clears throat> fight, look who's at the bottom, the strength, the only card in tarot that can overpower the devil. So a lot of you guys have been getting attacked by, you know, I'm not going to say completely the devil, because not everything's the devil or whatever. A lot of it's just people. Um, it's just certain situations have tried to come against you. And you have overcome them. So anything that's trying to hinder your success, hinder your walk with spirit, or anything like that is being overcome. Because this Wheel of Fortune, this guy right here is the devil. And this is letting me know you have success and you've successfully overcome this devil energy. Um, and But they feel left out in the cold. It could be a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Somebody from the past. Okay, so this King of Pentacles, I don't feel like is the is the devil, not just yet. I don't feel like that. I feel like the devil is a completely different situation. Because I feel like this King of Pentacles 
is is somebody you might known from childhood or it's just a past life soulmate they're coming in to offer you something here Yeah, dropping a burden and then the six of swords. So this person comes in peace. Whoever this king of pentacles is, they're 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 releasing burdens, but they're coming in peace. They could also live at a distance, so they may want to like come see you. But their their plan is to come in peace with you. Yeah, this person could be a newer person, too. This might be a brand new love. But you're moving to new love here. This person, I feel like, could also have love for you already, and they're offering you this love. And then the Seven of Swords reversed. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, they were kind of like stuck, but now they're unstuck. <laughs> they're coming towards you. They could have gotten some type of an enlightenment from God or a higher power, their ancestors, and now they're moving towards you. This person, whoever they are, they're not coming to deceive you. You you may be you may be one of those people, you know, I don't blame you. Um, who's very suspicious of every damn buddy who's contacting you. You're like, what the hell do you want? This person's not coming to deceive you, I don't feel like. You know, they actually are coming to give you some type of justice. So like I said, when you see the justice, you get new love and new money. And it's funny, the new love is behind it. So this could be some type of good karma that's coming to you. Yeah, this person's coming in to, like, try to romance you here. <laughs> um, that's their intentions, whoever this King of Pentacles is. Yeah, this is really going to put you in your head. Like... That's why I think Spirit's probably having you watch this reading because they know that you, like, <laughs> don't trust people. So you're kind of overthinking this and you're wondering, like, is this person being honest? Especially if they're a past person. If this is somebody you've known from the past, maybe they deceived you in the past or you just know them from the past. Maybe they were, like, a little iffy back then. You're just wondering, like, what is their intentions like? Are they coming in to screw me over or what? But you're, you're, um, this person's being honest. And they want to go from the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Wands. So that lets me know that they want to start new. So like I said, if you didn't know this person in this life from childhood, you knew that, um, you knew them in a past life. You have a history with whoever this is. So say you knew them in this life and things didn't go right in the past now they want to come back and right their wrongs like you guys have some type of karma <clears throat> that has to be played out i feel like this could be you have unfinished business with this person and that's why that circle card said you reap what you sow so let's say in the past that this person did you dirty they now have to come back this life and right their wrongs or vice versa if you did them wrong it's your time to do them right. <laughs> Get what I'm saying? Uh, there's some type of a um, karmic tie to this person. And it doesn't always mean bad. It's just we all have karma to pay off. And if you're not really understanding what that means, you should watch more um, Dolores Cannon videos. She talks about how every life we have karma to pay off. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, they mean business. They want complete emotional fulfillment. They want marriage. They want kids. They're very passionate about you. Holy shit. And whoever this is, they've already made up their mind. They don't even have to think about this. Like, they've already decided that they would love this with you. 
<clears throat> yeah, this person's coming with like commitment on their mind. They may, they're very passionate about you, but they may try to slow that down because they are so passionate about you. Holy crap. You guys might accept this person's offer. Here you are holding the, the coin that this man brought or this woman brought on this horse. And it's kind of like maybe you've been waiting for this person's return or some shit. I don't know. Uh, like, <laughs> it's like when they return, you're just like, okay, let's do it. It's really strange, huh? I don't know what the hell is going on here, Sagittarius. Holy shit, this just flew out. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. So we have three aces that show up right after the Karma card, Justice. And I always say, when karma card justice shows up, you're going to get new love and new finances because you've sown really good seeds. You have good karma. Now, the other people, not so much, but whoever this is, they mean business. I mean, this person would commit to you, marry you, have kids with you. Like, once you walk, accept their offer, and you go through this little, like, thing, you're locked in. Both of the, the cards that indicate, Spirit is telling you not to overthink this, so you're going to screw this up. And did you see that we have freaking soulmate and freaking wedding ring or engagement ring with those black cards? And then now all of a sudden, here comes this person and they're, they're wanting to offer you a damn wedding ring. Oh my goodness. And the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles are reversed, meaning that whoever this person is, they've already made up their mind. They don't even need to think about it. And Spirit's kind of like telling you that you shouldn't think about it either, that you should just go with this. Huh. I'll be dinged. This is a good reading, Sagittarius. Yeah, and I feel like there's somebody who's in this Five of Cups energy. This could be you guys. You guys are very guarded because you've had some disappointments here. Yeah. You know, I'm also getting... Okay, now don't shoot the damn messenger because this could be your situation. There could be a King of Pentacles coming towards you who was supposed to marry somebody else and it didn't work out. And so... This person, when they come to you, they're kind of already broken, they're guarded, they're heartbroken, they're in despair, because the person that they proposed to um, didn't end up being who they thought. So, Spirit could have redirected them to you, because you're, they're meant to be with you, not with the other person. So, you guys might not be the ones who you know, are getting married. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger, damn it. That's just one of the storylines I'm seeing. Others of you, you could be, but the way that this just showed, it's like, I feel like that this is this person. I mean, others of you, you could have been engaged to, and then shit didn't go right, and now you are in despair, damn it. I thought this looked beautiful. Something's happened with this King of Pentacles, though. Yeah, this person, whoever they are, has figured out you're their soulmate. So they were looking at maybe a third party. They didn't realize their soulmate was behind them the whole time. And you know what? This person, whoever they are, they've never let go of you. For some reason, I'm getting this, like, really weird vibe that you guys knew each other as children. And if you didn't know them this life, last life, you guys were locked in from childhood. Whoever they are, they've never, like, let go, let, never let go of you. And this is somebody that you're active, actively manifesting. 
So if you've been trying to manifest somebody, it, it's coming in. It, and I always tell people, like, when you do your manifestation list under the moon, if you're single, then put on there to ask your ancestors to bring in your soulmate, your true soulmate. So if you did that, you got your wish, your prayer. Wow, this person's choosing you, whoever they are. They've chosen you. Aries energy. They also watch you online. You know what's crazy is all the other cards where they were indecisive. The Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, that were very indecisive energy. Not the Two of Wands. <laughs> the Two of Wands is cemented. This person's locked in with you. They've chosen you. That's why their left hand's on that wand and not on the right wand. You guys might have had a separation. Like I said, you knew them this life and you separated and now they're coming back. Or you knew them past life and were separated and now are coming back, reincarnated. This also might shock the shit out of a lot of you. Um, that this is happening. Like, you're very guarded against anything. <laughs> and then we have the judgment. So this is a return energy. Like I said, you guys have known each other. This is a return. This is a redo. Um, also, the judgment is like somebody who comes back and they actually apologize. And when they do return, they're being sincere. The Seven of Wands, there's a lot of guarded energy. This is your wish fulfillment. Like I said, you guys might be shocked that this is actually happening. You're like, holy shit, what I manifested actually is coming. Like, you're getting wish fulfillment here. And I've always said, it's funny, because I've always said that this chick looks like she's holding like a phoenix hidden. And it kind of lined up with yesterday's reading, like, don't let nobody steal your spark. It's like you're holding on to your spark. Your fire. And then here's the phoenix right next to you, rising from the ashes. So whoever this person is, I don't think they're playing about you in any way, shape, or sort. Like, they mean business. And I also feel like they know there's other people who want you, so they will fight for you. Got Leo upon Leo energy here. So, okay. So some of you also, <laughs> you could be manifesting the person that you're supposed to be with, but... There could be somebody you're already maybe with or somebody who may try to block it. Like, there could be somebody trying to block this. So just take note of that. But, see, very happy. But the thing is, you guys don't trust this. You guys aren't trusting this bullshit. It's like... I feel like this person could be sent by the divine, but you're just like, mm, I don't know. I just, I just do not know. Because, like I said, um, a lot of you guys have been hurt in the past. So, you're like letting them come to you, but you're filling them out. And there goes the three of wands. There is three damn Leo energies on top of each other. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. I also feel like there could be a Leo who's like holding on to you or holding back. And then we got this damn Virgo. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo, a Virgo, Aries. I mean, it could be any sign, but... A lot of you guys are not for sure if you trust this, so you're like going within, soul searching. Yeah, you guys got multiple people watching you. <clears throat> I also feel like whoever this King of Pentacles, their energy is, that is like 
they're watching you also and, and they want to know if you're like uh, divorced or going to be divorced soon uh, or they're they're trying to check to see if you're single because the Queen of Swords is usually single so they're looking for that they're trying to make sure you ain't got nothing going on um, but you're going to get like lots of communication from this person like they could have been holding back communication from you but like they're not about to be anymore yeah they're looking to see if Sagittarius is single so if they're on your social media they're watching your social media could be asking friends family about you too yeah they're watching your ass Sagittarius so just know that you are being watched and I feel like you're being watched by many okay uh, a lot of people okay so like also okay so if this person whoever this is if they've been holding back communication from you they're no longer holding back okay so I feel like they're checking to see if you're single that's why I'm getting this weird vibe that like this is somebody you've known like you've known this person from the past Maybe you guys were like childhood sweethearts or something, or maybe this is just somebody you've known as a kid and they always had a crush on you, and maybe you got married, they got married, um, and like fate has stepped in here. Because there's like a lot of destiny and fate energy here. But this person's about to come forward. King of Cups. Like I said, there's something about this person. It's like maybe they have a lot of emotions for you and they've always loved you. Man, Sagittarius or whoever you are watching because not all of you are Sagittarius. Okay, so this person wants... <laughs> This person means business about you, damn it. Like, they want to come in and marry you and have long-term legacy, build an empire with you. Yeah, and they want equal give and take. I feel like if you was to get with this person, that you guys would have so much money accumulated together that you could even help give to other people, like in family or friend circles, stuff like that. Because I, I see like a really huge giving energy. Um, this person might also be a huge giver. That might be how you recognize who they are. Like maybe like when you were a kid, this person always had a crush on you or something. So they would give you little gifts, whether it was like a freaking dandelion or did I just see an orb fly by? Did you see that? I'm going to have to go back and look around the 2759 mark or something. Because um, I was looking over at the window, but I seen like a, something fly by. <laughs> that was my finger, by the way. But I seen an orb or something go by. So it's kind of weird. I'm wondering if that was an orb. Because if it is, it's about to be what I'm touching on. There's somebody here. They could be very like spiritual like you or something. And maybe like, like I said, they're a big giver. So maybe they gave you like a flower or a dandelion or something when you were kids. I don't know. But there's something spiritual about this. And then we have the Emperor. The Page of Cups. Ten of Swords. So see, there is something here. This person had an ending with somebody, but I do not feel like it was you. I feel like they could have found out about a third party or something like that. This person's also a very hard worker. So they don't play when it comes to like work. Yeah, this is definitely somebody you know. And they, it also, if they walked away from you or anything like that or did anything to betray you in the past, like I said, this person's coming back to right their wrongs. Whether you did them wrong or you, vice versa. There's a karma that needs to be cleared up. But the good news is, once the karma is cleared up, you guys stay together. That is very rare. <laughs> so there's a coming back around. Yeah, and this person's going to come in a lot quicker than you're thinking. Like, this person's not going to play about you. Like, they have their eyes set on you and you're who they want. 
Yeah, and you're not seeing this. This is your energy. But do you see how this person... Here is Sagittarius. You're minding your own business. You're not... You have earphones on. And you, a lot of you are working, okay? So I don't want you to even pay attention to what the hell... Like, you don't see this. So you have your headphones on. You're meditating here. And you don't realize it, but God is about to give you this huge, huge freaking blessing. And you're working. It could be even working on yourself. You don't see this. But this person is coming right at you. Like, they know what they want, and they, they want... It's almost like I get the, yeah, like a return. So I'm getting this energy that this person is like thinking like, I am not going to allow Sagittarius to um, <laughs> like leave me this time. And you could have rejected them in the past. That could have been what happened between the two of you. Like you rejected them, betrayed them, maybe. I don't know what you did to them. <laughs> but this person wants to come back and do a redo. Wow, and then these all come all, come out <laughs> together. So, okay, so there's the King of Pentacles. And then all of a sudden, here's the third party. The King of Wands right on top of Sagittarius. The Seven of Cups. And then the High Priestess um, in reverse. So, what's going on with you guys is besides this King of Pentacles coming in, the energy has now shifted. You could already be with somebody. So say that you have somebody from your past you always wanted to be with. Like I said, they were a childhood sweetheart or even a past life soulmate. And your soul knows you're meant to be with that person. But you could already be involved with somebody else. And so there's a third party here who's, like I said, I picked up earlier. There could be like a Leo blocking this union or something. Um, so you know, there's a third party. You're very confused because you have options, but there's also something here about this high priestess and the reverse. Like you may find out that even the person you're messing with now has been looking at their options and there's a third party. Um, and then, and then it's like, there's a secret that's revealed. Like this person could even be trying to hide something from you. The, the person you're dealing with, like in the current moment. But Spirit's going to, um, like, she's a secret keeper in the upright. She hides secrets. But in the reverse, secrets are coming out. So, I don't know if the who this, what this King of Wands is exactly doing. We're about to find out. Oh, huh. Wow. So, you may instinctively know that the person you're currently dealing with is, is not the one for you, and you may end it with them. Or they could, um, they could be looking at other options, and other, um, or they think there's a third party, so they end things with you. You may end things with that person so that you can pick your divine counterpart, somebody that God's sending you. So, that King of Wands in all of your readings, Sagittarius, always shows up as a new person that you have recently been dating. Doesn't matter what sign they are, it's just somebody you have recently been interacting with the last several months or something. Because they came in out of nowhere, like in your readings. So, that's how I know... The King of Wands was always represented as a new person. I feel like you guys have been dealing with a newer energy, but when this past person that you've known since childhood or you've known since a past life comes back, you know that you can't miss this opportunity with that person, so you could you could leave the newer person alone to go back to the past. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, hell no, hell to the no. But see, this isn't a past person that did you that... It's not something that, like I said, you guys were kids or something, or it was a past life, so you don't really remember what went on between y'all. So it was nothing heinous. It's nothing like, oh, you was married to this person, and then they betrayed you with five broads or five guys. It's nothing like that. So when they come back, it's somebody who you actually want and could have even been manifesting to come in. Okay. But you're going to have a choice. This is up to you guys. 
I don't feel like the, the newer energy is the one that's going to end it. It's you. Because the lovers is a choice. This is up to you guys. And you're going to have to listen to your intuition. Um, Spirit's going to reveal this to you. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you guys have created this uh, divine counterpart coming in because you manifested it with your ancestors. You, Those of you who are resonating with this, this is somebody you put on your list. And I always tell y'all, and I told y'all in the extended on how to go about manifesting these people <laughs> during Lionsgate. I told y'all don't put a name. Some of y'all put a damn name. Um which is fine, whatever, <laughs> but I told y'all specifically to, um, put, I call in my past life soulmate, so if you put that on your list, you're getting your wish granted, that, that's, that's what's happening, this three of pentacles is not any humans that are alive, this is those who have crossed over, that's, oh my goodness, oh, okay, Okay, so that's why they had me call in the ancestors. Oh my goodness. So this is you guys. Okay, I'm just a channel. So you guys manifested this during the Lionsgate portal. They're showing me that you're getting your prayers answered, your wishes granted, and you manifested this with y'all's ancestors. That's I guess that's why the ancestors wanted to come into the reading. Like I said, I've never publicly or even in a private reading asked... Um, all of our ancestors to come into one place. That's like a huge summoning. So there's a lot of individuals here. <laughs> Millions, by the way. Um, you guys did this. This was something you guys did through prayer, meditation with others who have crossed. And um, a lot of you who have a mom who has passed, she's showing up here. Um, she's the one that's advising you to go with this person because there's something about this person. Um, you and this person have both, both been hurt in the past and you guys are perfect for each other because you've went through a lot of the same heartaches. And, um, I feel like this person will be loyal to you till the death. And I mean to death. So this is definitely a different type of reading. very interesting. I'm about out of cards. That's why it's taking me so long to get him to fly out. Somebody had asked me to show, show me shuffling on the, it's like, it's much easier to shuffle back here behind the table, but <laughs> I don't think they're going to fly out anymore because they're so, there's not enough to really gain traction, but I'm just going to stop and I'm going to do them like this and just start pulling them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this in the upright because I feel like you guys are moving to your destiny here. Um, this is what spirit wants because in the original tarot, this is an emperor. He has a star on his forehead and he's headed to his destiny like he knows where he's going. And you no longer are going to be like stressed out and worried. Like it's like you're just you're going to be at peace about this. Yeah, look at that. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse and then the Ace of Swords. So whether you're a male or female, because I know there's a lot of guys who watch me. So when this Empress comes out, I want you to understand this is your energy too. Um, it's just easier for me being a female to read it this way, okay? But this is for men and women. You guys are this Empress energy and you have been attracting things to you like bees to honey, okay? Um, and you're doing a lot of this through manifestation, prayers, which was what I've been telling y'all to do. I could write a whole book on how to manifest. So I might do that one day. If I ever have time. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. Maybe when I'm older. But there's just too much stuff going on. Now, what I'm saying is you're headed to your destiny. You're attracting all of this. And a lot of you have been very worried. Like you're worried. Like what is people's agenda with me? Like why are they here? What do they want? It's like with this person, you know that they're who you asked for. Um, and so you're going to get out of your head and you're going to get truth and clarity and you're going to have the victory. Like spirit's going to show you who to go with 
and what to do. Because a lot of you could be stuck on the wrong individual and really need help. <laughs> yeah, and then look, we have the moon showing up. So anything hidden is going to come into the into the light. There you guys are. Oh my God, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> this is you guys, damn it. This is so hilarious. I told y'all. Okay, and so whatever you did under the moon is here. It's yes. This is the yes card in tarot, by the way. It's truth. It's clarity. It's yes. It's victory. Oh, I'm just flabbergasted because it's so amazing when spirit actually shows up and like answers what you want. You guys went outside under this moon uh, during the Lionsgate portal. Um, and if you didn't get that extended reading, you, sh you should still get it. It doesn't matter when it... I talk about how to manifest under the moon and get things to come to you in that reading. It's only $8. So if you want that, email me. Um, so it's like, <laughs> it worked. Whatever you guys said under the moon that night, it worked. And you can still do that. That's why I was saying you could still get that reading. Because you don't, it doesn't have to be exactly under Lionsgate. It's just when it's under Lionsgate portal, it's more stronger the energies are more stronger than but you can do it outside under the moon any night or if you even want to wait till like a new moon or a full moon um but i think there's more here in august coming up so like i said it's just something good to have um and my advice to you when you do do these practices is just believe it like that is is you just believe i'm telling you you have to have like childlike faith that these things are going to come to pass. But whatever you did, you manifested this. And it's like they're telling you, we heard you. We got communication from you. Holy crap. And so when I do my past on loved one readings, <clears throat> this is always a message from an ancestor. So like if they enter into the reading, <laughs> they have something to say. Like, so they're communicating. This is spirit. This is an ancestor who is telling you, we heard you, okay, and you guys are about to embark on a brand new journey, oh my goodness, look at that, holy shit, did I not tell you, some of you guys, when you were kids, whoever this person is, they gave you a flower, a dandelion, something like that, That that's specific to somebody watching, so if you were a little kid, and you had like a little neighbor boy or a little neighbor girl give you a flower or something like that. There's something about a flower that means something to somebody. Even a crossed on loved one. There could have been a crossed on loved one that gave you a single rose or a single something. And was like, here. Like, they're telling you who to pick. Or who to... Because you have a choice in love. And you're very confused. So they're saying pick the person who gave you the flower. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know what that means, but and no, it wasn't me. I didn't have anybody give me a flower like that. I don't think that's why I was sitting here trying to figure this out because <laughs> I was thinking like, did I have an ancestor who gave me like, and it was a single flower. It wasn't like a bouquet or anything. Yeah, this is definitely past, past life energy. And when we pulled the um, You Reap What You Sow card, this is your past coming back. It's like all the good seeds that you've planted throughout life are now coming into your fruition. This is you guys. The, it's like the fire. You ignited this. Yeah, and then you can't make it up look. Here's y'all being married, committed. This person could have even in the past been kind of a player or you were. And it's like now you're t now you're ready to settle down. Whenever you do make this choice, there's going to be somebody from your past who's going to be very jealous of this new love that you have. So there's like, there could be an ex who tries to interfere in this. Or who comes into um, your uh, life this week. I'm trying to figure out oh, Queen of Cups. Look, Hierophant. 
You know what I'm also getting? There's somebody like could, who could have tried to play you. Could be a Knight of Wands energy. They're they're playing you. Um, so it makes me kind of wonder if it's the King of Wands that showed up. Uh, if you have been feeling lately that something's off with somebody. So, you know, we've seen earlier the King of Wands had showed up. He had the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, the High Priestess in the reverse. You're going to find out some type of secrets about that person I'm hearing. And that's why when I, uh, um, that's why I specifically asked her ancestors to come through and they're telling me you're, you'll, you'll need protection from that person because I don't think they're going to want to let you go because they could be very jealous, but they're being defeated. I'm getting like whoever the Knight of Wands, which is the King of Wands. It's a newer energy that's been in your life lately. They're very jealous of how free you are and how you create so easy and manifest so easy. They're very jealous of you. Okay. But the funny thing is, you're the Queen of Cups. So you, um, your intuition's on point. The High Priestess and the Queen of Cups have a lot in common. They, they read energy. They feel energy. They know when something's off. And I think you've been feeling it. And then look, here comes this ancestor from your past who heard you under the moon that night. It could be a Cancerian to be specific. Or, I mean, it could be Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This man has crossed over. So this is like a male who he's on the other side. And he answered your prayer. He's bringing in a past life soulmate. And he's telling you to listen to your intuition and not trust the um, king of wands. To go with this past person that's showing up. So to not confuse you, okay. Like I said, I want you to realize if, if you didn't know this person this life. This is somebody from your past lives. Who you called in under the moon. It could have been the night of the Lionsgate portal or another moon night. This male ancestor on this side is confirming he's the ringleader. He's heard you and he's letting this come to pass. And he's also defeating and destroying anybody in the way of this union. But he's also warning you... What is hidden from you is that the person you're dealing with in the current moment, there's something going on with them. They're they're very jealous. It's a fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. If it's not their sun sign, it's somewhere in their chart. This person's jealous, envious, and could be playing mind games. We also have Aquarius energy here. This could be somebody who goes in and out of your life. And it's like they could they could have been causing you a great deal of anxiety. Um, but this like this spirit guide here is cutting this person out so you can go to the um, your true soulmate. This is a very interesting read. And I told myself, I was like, I'm not gonna do. An extended reading on today's reading. But seeing this really makes me feel like I'm being led to. I really feel like I'm being led to do a, a, a um, an extended. Huh. Because this is like an ancestor type deal. <laughs> like... When they come, it's really important. You know, I'm not going to extend it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask right now. I want to ask this ancestor because this ancestor is so strong. Whoever's ancestor this is, like I called on, I called them all up. So they're all here. I want to ask specifically, what is it you're warning against with this five of swords? Who is this Five of Swords energy, please? I ask all ancestors that are involved in this. 
please give me truth, clarity, and show us, everybody watching, who is this Five of Swords character? Who is this Five of Swords character? And what are they so jealous and what are they so upset about? Like, why are they so jealous and playing mind games? What is this Five of Swords? I ask everybody's ancestors who are watching to show me who is this Five of Swords? Who is this Five of Swords? What are they hiding? What's their intentions? What is it they're so crappy about? What is this Five of Swords? Who is this Five of Swords? I keep hearing, I will defeat them. I will defeat them. So I don't know if this is an ancestor saying that. Or if this is the Five of Swords person wanting to defeat something like. Give us truth. Give us clarity. Let it be so clear that there is no second guessing. Who is this Five of Swords spirit? I'm seeing the Ace of Swords. The Six of Cups. So they're definitely about to give us the truth with that Ace of Swords. A lot of you guys I'm hearing have been picking up on this energy and you weren't for sure. You, you like you had no solid proof. Queen of Swords. They're telling you that the Queen of Swords is somebody, it could be a Queen of Swords female, but Queen of Swords is no bullshit. She knows a lie a million miles away. So they're telling you to think logically. Put logic over your heart. Be a truth seeker. She seeks the truth. Somebody returning to you or somebody that don't want you to walk away. Could even be a family member. If you rejected somebody, it could be them. though I feel like this is um so I feel like this is that Cancerian energy of the crossed over loved one because here goes Cancerian here okay so this may just be the ancestor who's coming through just so far they want you to know some type of truth. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. So this could be the ancestors. They're just showing me their energy right now. Okay. So the Five of Swords energy could be that Aquarius energy we were picking up on. Somebody from the past. Somebody who was juggling you. And then there you go. Okay. So there could be somebody who was juggling you um, between you and an ex or something like that. And now they're jealous and they're trying to do some shit. There was definitely an ending. So this is somebody you had an ending with. This also I'm getting could be somebody's ex who also has it out for you. This is definitely somebody from your past. A 
Okay, so what this is, is this is somebody from your past. Um, it e like I said, it even could be a fairly newer love interest. They're not going to, they don't want you with anybody else, so they could try to intervene. They could be very jealous. So if you try to reject somebody and you try to go towards somebody else from your past, this person is going to be very vindictive. Leo energy. Didn't I tell you earlier in the original read before I asked this question uh, that over here in this pile, this energy came out showing that it, it, it could be somebody who's trying to block your manifestations. So this is that King of Wands type energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, predominant. Um, they could be trying to block you from moving on to finding new love because they're jealous of you. And be careful now tell you right now the last extended I did not the last one but the, the one before there you guys were dealing with a new love interest and then their energy was all fucked up didn't even it was not genuine which was shocking and neither was the past at that time this past person isn't negative this is a good past energy that's coming it's a past life soulmate so if you're doing dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, this person could be the person who's trying to block you from finding new love. And they also want to keep you so mind fucked that you don't know what's going on. And the reason that they're trying to keep you mind fucked, and this is this is crazy. This is some crazy ass shit. And I'm glad I didn't go to the extended. <laughs> because I'm telling you, there's been some really fucked up shit in my extendeds. And if you watch my extendeds, I'm always saying, holy shit, I wish everybody purchased the extendeds. Because it's crazy what comes out in them. So I'm glad that I listened to spirit and didn't extend this. Because you guys need to see this. If you're resonating with this, I need you to know that if you're dealing with a current Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, or may not be sun sign, it's in their chart. This person is holding you back on purpose from finding new love because they see your prosperity they want a part they, they're looking at your money so there's somebody who's looking at your money because in the original tarot the seven of pinnacles <clears throat> he has like all these pinnacles over here and then one little pinnacle here he's somebody who's looking at money and all he has is a little pinnacle so whoever this person is uh, they're blocking you from finding new love because they see your value financially. So they're looking at your money and they're keeping you mind fucked. And um, that's what your ancestors were showing you so that you can get clarity with the King of Swords er energy. That um, you have somebody you're dealing with currently they're not they're not really in love with you they're just there for financial reasons and you have ancestors who are very angry so the ancestor that kept saying um i will defeat them it, it was the, an ancestor it's not it's not a a human that's it's that's alive it's a crossed over ancestor holy shit <laughs> this reading this took a so that's what's being hidden that that's what this five of swords is yeah look this i was shuffling and i didn't even realize this was upside down like this at the bottom so <clears throat> what i'm saying is you guys are surrounded by your finances your money your stability but they have you in the reverse meaning this person's purposely keeping you locked down with them to protect you from finding new love, to guard you from finding new love so that they can hold on to you financially. Because that's how they see you, abundant. And, it, and this was in the reverse, meaning they don't want you single. So they're they're, this could be like a gold digger type energy. This is just somebody who latches on to people for, for financial gain. And I feel like once you figure this out, you're going to feel very betrayed. And like you want to go on to wish fulfillment, but you can't. 
you're being you're being held by this person so be very freaking careful if if some of you have been feeling like you're being like um used or this is freaking crazy if you've been feeling like okay if you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have as much as you you're going to need to get clarity. You're going to need to do something. You're going to need to pray to your ancestors to reveal this to you. It's probably why you're watching this damn reading why they told me not to go to the extended. Because a lot of you guys aren't going to go to the extended. So, thank God I listened. <laughs> but, yeah, this is what's happening. This ancestor, these ancestors are pissed. Yeah, this person's trying to block you from finding your wish fulfillment, but they can't. Your ancestors are going to take over. Because you're getting your wish fulfillment. You're getting what you need. Ha, ha, ha. This shit is hilarious. This shit is hilarious. Two times, bitches. Two freaking times. I just seen one on one on the clock. I've been talking for over an hour. <laughs> Two times, bitches. The original reading, the devil was in the reverse. Your ancestors are going to defeat this person and their sneaky, lying, little weird-ass shit they're doing. And they're, they tried to stop you, but ain't shit stopping you. You guys are moving on to your wish fulfillment. This is quick, fast movement, and you're going to fly right over this devil energy. They tried to block you, though, with the Seven of Wands, but you're going to listen to your intuition, and you're going to do what you need to do. So this Five of Swords person, yeah... You guys are the damn Empress and the Nine of Cups. You guys are getting everything that's coming to you. So whoever this devil energy is, it's like it's gone. <laughs> and all things done in the dark come to the light. So whatever they've been hiding, you're, you now you're on point. Your intuition is on point. You, you know what time it is. I'm also hearing that the, you're going to see this person for who they are they no longer can hide from you your intuitions on point and like I said some of you guys there is a mother or a grandmother figure who who is doing a lot of this but it's funny that it was the king of swords and then when we switched to this and went to the queen of swords so there could be a pair there could be a pair who are on the other side working together holy shit and there you go, getting the clarity. <laughs> and the de the um, tower came out in the reverse, letting me know that you get the truth, the clarity, and you make the decision to put the devil underneath you and get the hell out of that situation, and you avoid a tower moment altogether. So you may separate from this individual, but you do it in such a graceful way that it avoids a tower. So that's my advice to you. Don't maybe don't tell this person you knew what they were doing or something and just slowly back away, slowly pull your energy back, something like that. Because you're going to avoid a tower. And then there you go. <laughs> it's like spirits letting go of you. It's like you just go on about your way. And like I said, this is that Aries, Leo, Sag energy that was trying to hold you back. Once you figure out this intuition and once you watch this reading and you, you're piecing it all together, I guarantee you're sitting there right now like, damn it, I knew something went right with this person. And like I said, this could be a friend, a family member, a loved one, anybody who you feel like is getting over on you. You are being released. Your manifestations worked and nothing's being held back from you. And whoever was trying to hold you back to prevent you from going out and getting your new love, they can't. They cannot hold you back. They're just not. You're too free. Oh my God. Spirit is amazing. You see how she was in... Oh my goodness. I Thank you, spirits, ancestors. You guys have no idea. I'm just so happy for y'all. And I, I don't bullshit. I don't sugarcoat, <laughs> sugarcoat in my readings. So when I'm excited like this, it's because I'm truly freaking excited. If you notice, earlier she was in the reverse. The high priestess was in the reverse. 
Let I just seen four four four. Letting me know that you guys, your intuitions, your guides have been screaming at you, but you have not been listening. And now all of a sudden you listen and it's it's game over. Game over for this individual who is doing this five of swords energy towards you. So there was somebody who was around you the whole time that was very jealous and envious of you. Um, like I said, I feel like they could have been looking at your financial stability um, or something like that. There, and it doesn't even have to really be finances. It's just this person, for some reason, felt you were above them in some kind of way. Like I said, this could have been a friend, family member, a lover. I don't know. But, but you're, it, it's somebody in your circle, somebody who's close to you. And they put on a really good mask. So you're like, no, maybe I'm just imagining shit. Spirit's like, no, bitch. Or no, guy. <laughs> I hate to be cussing all the time. But <laughs> they're like, hey, time to wake up. So now she's in the upright and you're on point. Your intuition's on point. Yeah. And this is also, you need to listen to your intuition because this person is also stalking your home. They're stalking you. Look who's at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I guess he hears us talking about him, don't he? Yeah. <laughs> that person definitely hears. Um, also, your ancestors are watching over you. They've been watching this very closely. And they're just like... <laughs> But it, it, you can just tell that they're they're very happy right now because they're they're getting their way. Yeah. Look at that, and then you end up with a soulmate. This is Cancerian energy. I don't know who you guys know who crossed that was a Cancerian. If your mom or your dad or your husband or wife or child or there's just a heavy presence of a Cancerian energy in the, in the crossed over loved one. Um. It's like, I've been watching you, and I'm going to give you a true soulmate. Somebody who really wants to be with you, and not just, you know, bullshit you. So you're getting a true soulmate. Oh my goodness, look who's in the reverse now that just came out. He was at the bottom, I shuffled, and now he comes out, but he's in the reverse. So you may choose to leave this person once you realize what they've been doing, like... They could have even, this could have been a best friend or a friend. Um, and you thought they was really your friend, but they're not. Um, you now, you now see them for who they are. And you see how, like, you're looking at this person. Like I said, this whole reading is about if you're with a newer lover and you've been feeling weird, it's because they're bullshitting you. And you're looking at this person like, you son of a bitch. And you know what's crazy is you see how I remember earlier I said, I said that this person feels like you're above them and look, you really are above them. Look at that. You're looking down on them and that doesn't necessarily mean that you really are above them, but for some reason they feel that way. That's what makes me wonder if um, you're more successful than them or good looking than them. I don't know. But this person's jealous. And it's crazy they made him come out in the reverse. And look, you're now seeing them for who they are. They're, they're, they've been wearing a mask the whole time. Damn it. This person's been wearing a mask. Aquarius energy. I mean, it could be any damn sign, but man, this person's a sneaky SOB, Sag, or whoever you are watching. This person's a sneaky son of a bitch. Sneaky, sneaky, freaking sneaky. I'm telling you, people need to understand that ancestors do, they don't play. Your guides, your, your spiritual team, they don't play about you guys. And this person thought they could pull the wool over on you. And boy, are they sadly freaking mistaken. They could have been telling you that they wanted the Ten of Cups with you, but they didn't. So I feel like this person has been purposely holding you back from finding your Ten of Cups, finding your new love, 
um, they, they were just like a placeholder. They, they were doing it, um, could have even been doing it out of jealousy or vindictiveness just so they can keep you stuck with them. Yeah, and who, look who it is. The Knight of Wands. This person's been playing you. This was the person that showed up in the original reading before I asked this question with the Five of Swords. So you've been being mind-fucked by this individual, this Knight of Wands, this King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. If you've been dealing with the Aries Leo Sag, I would definitely suggest to get a reading. And I don't give a shit if it's from me or anybody else you trust to read for you. Okay. I'm, I stay really busy booked up, so I can't guarantee you I can do it. But if you want to email me and see if I'm available, but I'm telling you, because like I said, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not here. So you guys, um, I know that spirit's going to take care of me financially. So don't ever think that. I need you to, to book a reading, okay? I'm, I'm just, I would love for you to, but there's a chance that you may not get in, is what I'm saying, because I stay really booked up. So, I just, I'm not here to, um, for that. But I thank God that I didn't go to the extended, because my last several extendeds, I've been like, holy shit, I wished everybody could see this. <laughs> so, I'm glad I listened to y'all's ancestors, because they're not playing about you, that your ancestors aren't playing this person's been playing you and keeping you stuck. And uh, they were leading you on to believe they wanted something with you that they didn't. And like I said, I feel like they're watching you. But they wanted you stuck on them. You see how they chose you? Like, they're seeming it in. They, they've chosen to keep you stuck with them. Like, they wanted you stuck with them. And they don't, they don't want you to end things with them. Like this person wants you to pick them and they don't want you to end things with them. Yeah. Like I said, you'll know if this is your reading because this person, whoever this person is, they're not as financially stable as you. They see you as the Ten of Pentacles and they feel like they're the Five of Pentacles and they feel like they're stuck with you until they can get to their Ten of Pentacles. And they don't want things to end with you until uh, they can get more financially stable. Yeah, so they'll, they'll continue to string you along and give you little love offers, but they're just pages. They're, they're not anything serious. They could also apologize if um, you try to leave or something like that. And then here goes the Three of Pentacles. This person wants to build and create with you because they're in lack, but they know that you're not. Huh. Yeah, this person, <laughs> this person has no desire to actually commit to you. They don't. Whoever this past energy that's coming in that you knew from a past life or you knew since childhood, they actually want to commit to you. They actually want to commit to you. This person doesn't. And they haven't been um, listening to God either. But they also wanted to keep working and building with you to keep your options at bay. Because this person knows that you could have a lot of options when it comes to like love and money and work. Um, I'm also seeing here that if you, oh my God, look at this shit. I, I just heard a voice. One of the guides said, look at the bottom. This is so damn depressing. Whoever this is for, I'm sorry. It, it just makes me sick to think that there's people out here who would go to this length. You guys really got to be careful. You guys need to stay in prayer and stay close to God, Jesus, your ancestors, whatever you believe in. I need you to stay close to it, um, to your spiritual life. Because whoever this person is, they also, they want to keep you stuck with them so that you can't move on to opportunities in your spiritual work. 
They want to remove opportunities that have to do with spiritual work from you. They don't want you to take offers. Like, so say if you was offered to move somewhere to take like a spiritual job or to do some type of work for spirit, they, they don't want you to. So this also makes sense why your ancestors and your spirit guides are so pissed at this person. I really, I feel sorry for this person. I really do because they don't realize who they're messing with. I don't feel like <laughs> if they did, and I don't mean that in a threatening way. I'm just saying your ancestors, they're not playing about y'all. But they want to keep you stuck so you can't um, progress. Yeah. And at the end of the day, when you figure this out and you do like this soul searching, you're going to be very heartbroken by this individual. I'm also seeing like you can see that it's like you're going to be heartbroken when you figure this out. But then you do some soul searching and then here you are waiting for something. It could be this Virgo who's going to come in. It could be a dim Virgo with the King of Pentacles that came in in the beginning of the reading. Yeah, you're realizing there's no future with this person. There's no marriage or moving in with this um, jealous individual, whoever they are. Look, no matter how many times I shuffle, this keeps coming at the bottom. Yeah, so you're moving on because you realize that this person's deceiving you. Yeah, and you're not even going to regret it. You're like, I don't even give a shit. I'm not even going to cry over this. Yeah, this person, they don't have much. So here they are again. Like I said, whoever they are, they're not going to just let you go. So be aware of that. They're going to continue to keep trying to uh, keep you stuck with them. And they're going to try to offer you little things with the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. Oh, let's go to dinner. I'll pay this time. Or, you know, oh, I'm sorry. It's something like that. They want to keep you stuck, but they don't have much. So they need you. Oh my God. And you can't make it up. Look who just finally flew out. So they want to keep you stuck. And it has nothing to do with because they love you. It has nothing to do with any of that. They could give a shit less about loving you. And that's just the, whole, the cold, hard truth. This person wants you stuck. All they have is this pinnacle. They know you have ten pinnacles. And, and so they're very jealous and vindictive towards you. And they want you stuck. The wheel is in reverse. The fool is in reverse. But they're jealous. And what did I say that they're jealous over? What did I say? What did I say? What is that? <laughs> they are jealous because they feel like you have the bag. And so some of you who don't even have a lot of money, you still got a job, you still got a car, you still got stability. There's something this person sees in you that they don't see in their self and they're very jealous of that. So like I said, it's not like you're a multimillionaire or you're making all this money or it's just the fact there's something they see in you. Maybe they, maybe they're, they even know intuitively that you are going to become this queen of, queen of pentacles. So they're trying to stop you. Yeah, because look, look where you're headed. Uh, you're headed. This person like to, they, they were trying to. Do the Knight of Pentacles with you, slow play you, make you think, oh, well, if you hang on long enough, there'll be a commitment, there'll be a commitment. So you were stressed out, you were worried, like, is this person going to commit to me? Or maybe they did, maybe they did get rid of their options. But at the same time, it was causing you a great deal of stress and anxiety because you didn't know where the hell you were headed with this person. So now that's leaving. You see how the worry is leaving you. Uh, you're no longer being slow played. And you're moving to victory and success. Whoever this jealous individual is, they know this about you. Yeah. Three of cups reversed. So you're no longer going to... Um, 
I feel like you're going to slowly back away from this person and quit interacting with them. Look, and then there goes that Leo energy coming out. Like, you've seen the sign. Like, that old song, oh, I've seen the sun or something. <laughs> I've seen the signs and opened up my eyes. I've seen the signs. Okay, and there you are. This person's going to become very combative. I feel like when you back away from them. And then look. <laughs> There you guys are healing. Your king of pinnacle comes in to fight for you, to knock the competition out. And here goes the king of pinnacles. This person's showing up. Yeah, and they're coming with a true love offer. True love offer. Look, there you guys are working and then going straight to your destiny. So you guys are just being rerouted. So just know when this happens, why it happened. Yeah, you guys are going to a brand new passionate beginning here. You're no longer guarded. And then you're going to get your commitment that you want from the King of Pentacles energy. I'm about out of cards again. This readings went on forever. <laughs> Look at that. And then you get equal give and take. So... The person that you're with will actually give back to you. You won't feel like you're the one doing everything. And then you guys get the justice that you deserve. You get the good karma. Yeah, this person's coming in like a lot, lot quicker than you realize. Look, he, he came in again right after the Sagittarius. Remember earlier, this person was coming right at Sagittarius. Yeah, and you're dropping burdens. Yeah, this person's been holding on to you the whole entire time. But also when this um, Jealous, Five of Swords, Aries, Leo, Sag type energy uh, player, it could just also be a player, okay? So don't pay attention to too much signs. It's just whoever you feel like has been playing your ass. Um, this person, when they realize you're dropping the burden of them and you're no longer holding on to them or you're letting them hold on to you, they're going to become very upset. So be aware of that. Yeah, and you're getting your divine counterpart. You're going on to a true soulmate sent by God. <laughs> Somebody who you had a past life with or you knew in the past. And this person is your emperor, so they match your empress. This is somebody who you will build like an empire with. And you're looking at things from a higher perspective. And then there you are with your new love. You're not seeing this person come in just yet. But you manifested them under the moon. And then look who just showed up again. So there definitely is crossed over ancestors, male and female. Because the Queen of Swords was the first card. King of Swords is the last card. Um, and since the moon was already used, they, they saved this card to show you. Like you're under the moon. Okay, and so you manifested all of this under the moon. Okay, so if you do want that um, Lions Gate portal reading, it did. I did tell you some things on how to manifest. If you want that, email me. Um, this is just shit crazy. This is just shit crazy, Sag. I gotta go though. I went through two. <laughs> I'm just glad that um, I want you guys to like get out of your head. Um, and, and stop trying to piece this together because you now have like truth and clarity. You now understand what this person's doing. And the fact that the, <laughs> the fact that the you reap what you sow card just came out, whoever's doing this to you, they're going to get it. This is really bad karma to do this to somebody. To ever hold on to somebody with ill intentions, it, it's, it's wrong. So I feel sorry for whoever is doing this. <clears throat> and then look, you guys are being redirected to new. One, 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 all new. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. And then we have one, two, um, I thought there was a three. I don't know why I thought, oh, okay, I guess the three is there. So it's like one, one, two, three, four. There's a lot of alignment. 
So if two four two and then one one one. So this person who's deceiving you's birthday could be in here somewhere. So be careful of that. Like really look these dice over. Like you may want to screenshot it and then like really dissect these numbers. Like if they add up to something. Cause I don't know. I just feel like there's somebody's birthday hidden in there that has been doing this to you. So we have 242111, angel number or birth dates. And then here's some signs you could be dealing with. Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra, Pisces, Sag. Look, look how that Leo is out there. So you're going to figure this all out in Leo season. Sag, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, the, the dice are supposed to be lined up. This is how the dice are. Like, So when I line them up, I always go to this face. So we have Libra, Libra, Libra. Like I said, okay, there's Scorpio over here. And Scorpio over here. So there's definitely a lot of death energy here. Um, you're going to end something and also so that lets me know the ancestors are here because when death shows up that means they've crossed but they're here um, the Libra energy is what I've been saying karma 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 matter of fact I think that's what I'm going to put as the subject for the video karma 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 <laughs> um, that's why the re you reap what you sow came out. This person is going to get hit so hard with karma, they're not their head's going to spin. Especially when ancestors entered into the reading. I, it, it's I don't even want to talk about what's going to happen, but it's not good. And this is another sign they're telling me how you'll know who this person is. Even, some of you, even after this reading, you're still not going to believe it. You're still not going to want to believe it about this person. So this is why it makes me suspect even some of you, this is a best friend you've known for years or a family member. So what, how you'll notice for sure is this person's about to take a hit down. They're going, they're going down. <laughs> so if you notice somebody around you and something bad happens to them or they lose something, I'm just telling you, ancestors don't play. The Libra energy is the karmic card. It's the justice scales. So you guys have new love, new finances to look forward to. This person, not so much. But they are going to get hit with karma. Whoever's doing this to you, it's it's not good, okay? So that's what I have for you. Um, and thank you guys for you know watching and commenting. You know, I know a lot of y'all have never gotten a reading or bought an extended or donated or anything like that. But if you can just hit the like and comment or just watching okay you all have played a part and i love each and every one of you so have a good one and thank you so much